Let's take a look at the brand new MSI Creator 17 with the codename A10SFS. The main highlight of this laptop here is going to be the display because this is the world's first ever laptop to be using a mini LED backlight for its screen. So let's talk about it. So like we mentioned earlier, this is the world's first ever laptop to be using mini LED backlighting and it also has beautiful 4K IPS level LCD panel for the front and it is honestly one of the best displays I have seen on a laptop right now. But let's backtrack a little and talk about how a display works, how a display like this works. In simple terms, there are a total of two different independent components for a modern screen like this. So you have an LCD panel that displays your graphics and also your colors. And then to illuminate all of those colors and graphics and whatnot, you need a backlighting. Without the backlight, then you'll be reverted back to the days where you're playing on a Game Boy, but then you need those passing traffic lights to look at your Game Boy screen. And the mini LED technology here is a different type of backlighting technology. And as the name suggests, it is made out of tiny little LEDs, a whole array of them on this screen right here. And every single mini LED here measures in at about 0.2 millimeters in size. Whereas if you look at those conventional LED backlit displays, they are about one millimeter each. By shrinking the LED, that means every single square centimeter of the screen here will have a higher density of LEDs hence it will be even brighter than any other conventional backlit displays that we've seen so far and by that I really mean that if you're using this display at 100% brightness you will be blind because it's just way too bright and in comparison at 100% brightness the MSI Creator 17's mini LED backlit display is as bright as OLED displays that we've tried on the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED not too long ago which you can check it out at the top right corner there. And since the screen of the MSI Creator 17 is so bright, it is also certified for VESA Display HDR 1000 as well. And if you want to just view HDR content on this laptop, it's just way too beautiful. And to emulate the contrast of OLED panels, the mini LED in this laptop here is actually having 240 different local dimming zones and what I mean by local dimming zone here is that the whole display here is spliced into 240 different areas, subsections if you will and depending on which area need to be backlit then those areas will be shine at a completely different brightness compared to all of those that are kind of dark. And one more thing that we have to highlight is the lack of those kind of a halo effect when you're viewing a super bright image on a dark background. Because usually if you have local dimming zones like this display right here, the halo effect will be kind of distracting under certain use cases. But from what we tested, the halo effect is really difficult to spot and it is just not really what we expected. It's much better actually. While we praise the mini LED for its brightness, we also have to praise it for its dimness because let's be real here, no one is going to use a bright monitor like this at 100% brightness while indoors all of the time. Sometimes you might want to work in the dark and this display can handle that as well. But speaking of work, let's now talk about colors. So MSI included a lot of different color profiles in the MSI Creator Center here and I can switch between a few commonly found sRGB color profile, uh, Adobe RGB, DCI-P3 and some other color spaces that I have no idea existed. And since we're talking about those colors, uh, thanks MSI for educating me what's the difference between sRGB, Adobe RGB and DCI-P3. But remember, the specialty of the MSI Creator 17 screen is only the backlight. The IPS LCD for all the colors and graphics is still the same as your conventional ones. So from what we can see with our own two eyes, the color accuracy is definitely not the best that we've seen in person. But, but I do realize that this display actually helped me to color balance one of the videos that we made because when I selected a white point in the video, it just turns out very yellow. And this display actually just directly showed me that it's way too yellow. And I'd say the mini LED backlighting here with the IPS LCD panel 
has some traits of both OLED and also the conventional LED backlit systems. It doesn't have burn in but it also has local dimming zones for the increased contrast and uh, so far I'm really loving this backlight display here. Okay, so enough about the screen. Let's talk about the whole laptop itself. This is the MSI Creator 17 and the configuration that we have here is an Intel Core i7 10875H, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q, two sticks of 16 gigs RAM at 2666MHz and also one terabyte of NVMe SSD. Performance is as to be expected. I edited a number of videos using this laptop and the performance is just amazing and obviously with that magnificent screen it just motivates me to do more video work on this laptop actually. But when I edited videos with a lot more graphics and whatnot, the fan starts to spin and it doesn't create those kind of uh, low frequency hum. It's a more like a higher pitch hum so you might find that to be distracting if you are working with loudspeakers like I do. Other than that, this laptop is pretty much the same as the Prestige P75 Creator 9 SD that we reviewed last year. It's using the same chassis and it's pretty lightweight, portable, kind of solidly built and overall I do like the whole laptop in some aspects. The keyboard, it feels good to type on. The trackpad is still using that same ultra-wide trackpad. Uh, when you use both the trackpad and also the keyboard together, then the whole waterfall thing between the spacebar and the trackpad is still something that's kind of distracting for me. And the ports are also pretty much the same in terms of location and also selection. And some of the ports also got a speed bump as well. So all in all, the MSI Creator 17 with the mini LED backlit display is priced at 13,999 ringgit. You might think that you're paying a premium for that mini LED backlight, but actually not quite. Because if you compare spec by spec with all of the other laptops that's in the market right now, it's pretty okay in terms of price. It's slightly higher because of that display, let's face it, but not by that much. So all in all, I would say that if you really want the brightest display in the market right now, without all of the growing pains of OLED displays, this is the only laptop that's offering this kind of solution for you. So, I like this laptop. And if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.